Hi there. I don't have time to do a uh, fables today, and I'm actually running out of fables pretty quickly. So preparing a fable takes longer and longer because few fables that are left, a lot of them aren't very good or they're difficult or they're kind of leftover type fables. I've picked most of the best ones and the ones left now, some of them are very long or some of them are inappropriate or some of them are not very applicable to what's going on in today's world. So, like I said, I've it takes more preparation and more planning and more reading to come up with a video and I just didn't have time for that today. So I will just um, get on that tomorrow. We're going to have to look at some new book or some new idea for videos in the future. I have a couple of ideas of what I'll do. I enjoy doing these fables, but uh, unfortunately, like all good things, they come to an end. He only wrote so many, and uh, I don't know how many videos I've put up, but probably close to 200 or more, 250, I don't even know. But there's a lot of fables that we covered. I recommend that you go back and re-listen to some of the previous ones just to familiarize with the ideas and uh, the fables themselves. I might revisit them myself and uh, do some follow-up videos. But uh, anyway, I'd like to talk about something. I don't want the video to be too quick, but I also don't want to just ramble and bore you. Yesterday I switched out the winter tires on the car for summer tires. I didn't really want to do that because Somebody else I know generally likes to do that, and we enjoy that process together, whereas that was not possible. So I had to change the tires, or else I'd probably get a ticket for driving around in the summer with studded tires. I wanted to do it before now, but either the weather was bad or I was busy with other things, and it kind of got away. And since we had snow about a month ago, I uh, was in no hurry to really take them off, but now that we are definitively into summer, they had to go. So I did that. It seemed like it was going to rain halfway through. I had two tires changed, and I was working on the third, and it literally rained for about 10 seconds. So I thought that I was going to have a wet time like we did. Me and uh, my little girl, he changed the tires at least once in a downpour, which was fun and interesting. The rain was warm, but anyway, it's a nice memory that you just carry on. It would have been worse if the weather was bad. Well, rain is bad, but it would have been worse if the rain was cold. But anyway, we got it done and uh, dry clothes, no problem. So that's uh, something. And prior to that, as you know, I, I got the haircut. I held off as long as I could. And I was hoping that I'd be able to see my regular barber on Friday. But uh, since that didn't work out, I cut my, my hair myself. It was uh, either Friday or Saturday. I don't remember which. And, uh, yeah, I did it very quick. I was happy about that. I guess when you have the right tools for the job, it makes it better. So I'm pretty satisfied with the job I did. I mean, it's obviously not perfect, but uh, I don't have a problem with it. And now... It's past my bedtime. I should have been in bed an hour ago, but uh, 
had to cook and a few other things. Get ready for work tonight. I got a very busy week coming up, extremely busy. Many things to do. Hopefully I'll accomplish something, but um, at the very least I have about three tasks that I've got to deal with. Um, I had a toothache about a year ago and uh, got a referral to a special surgeon who would do a root canal and then I got a letter in the mail there Friday that oh after a year they can have a look at my tooth and if they don't hear back from me within three weeks they will assume I don't want anything done with my tooth and they'll send the x-rays back to my regular dentist so very interesting it makes me feel like a uh, I'm living in a communist country we got free dental free health care so to speak it's not really free my insurance will cover 80 percent of it but it's still still going to cost me hundreds of dollars i'm sure to get this root canal and it only took a year of waiting oh the canadian medical system everybody we love it oh the americans if we only had this health care system canada has all our problems would be solved yes but you got to realize when something is free or cheap, generally you get what you pay for. So yes, we don't have to pay, but we go see a doctor here in Canada in an emergency room. Unless you're having a heart attack or something, you're going to be sitting there probably for six or seven hours, maybe eight hours. I know people who go to the emergency room with certain issues and while they're in the waiting room, the problem resolves itself and they just go home which is probably good because it doesn't strain the system but you know you have a whole ward with one doctor there so you get what you pay for yes it's free or cheap and but you wait around for six hours and you get over exhausted doctors who are more prone to have difficulties and possibly make mistakes overworked things like that Anyway, I um, I finally, after a year, yay, now I can go and have my tooth looked at. So I will contact them this week. That's one thing I have to do. There's another thing I have to do that I won't go in on. And um, yeah, a few other issues to deal with. So I'm going to be pretty tied up this week. But I'll make sure to put up at least one video every day, um, probably fables and explanations, but if not, then I'll do something else. Anyway, I should have gone shopping. It's hard for me to do anything this weekend. It was a very uh, sad weekend for me. Very hard to get motivated to do anything, but I did do seven rounds of boxing today, so I was happy about that. And um, yeah, apart from the haircut and the tire change, I haven't really been doing much at all. Anyway, hopefully uh, things will improve in the next couple of weeks, and uh, who knows. But uh, anyway, I'd love to hear from you, and it's a real joy when I do hear from you. It really uh, brightens my day. I look forward to it. So, unless, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I have to rush off to bed, and... Uh, Till next time, goodbye. If you have anything down below, please, and love you.